In recent years on the University of Kentucky campus, we have seen lots of development. We've seen demand for new buildings, new facilities, and with that has come a need for additional parking and parking spaces. Um, and that type of activity has led to a loss of some of our green space. But what we've done as a university is we've tried to manage our stormwater by developing and enhancing our green space that still exists. So here we are in an improved stormwater basin. And some of you may think, well, I don't even know what a stormwater basin is. When it's simply a, a bowl-like feature in the landscape. Um, some of you might think of it as a pond um, or an elongated stream segment. And that's exactly what we have here. But we have um, an area where our stormwater is concentrated and it's running off campus and moving into our local streams and rivers. So what we can do is we can enhance those areas to help increase infiltration and slow water down. That means less water is leaving campus and going into these streams and rivers. So it might look like that some of this is just a weedy mess, but in fact, all of these plants are serving an important purpose. Although the general public probably doesn't think too much about what happens when it rains, watershed professionals think about it a lot. And we think about it in terms of what are some things that we can do on the landscape to improve the quality of water in our streams and rivers. And you know, in Kentucky, we have over 90,000 miles of streams and rivers and water resources um, are truly important um, here in Kentucky and something that we should all take some responsibility for. So as watershed professionals, here on campus, we've looked around and tried to determine what are some best management practices that we can do to protect our water resources. So having stormwater retention basins, riparian buffers that would help infiltrate runoff before it gets to a stream, or areas that are catchments like a rain garden can help to reduce the volume of water that will run off of urban areas and reduce the pressure that that volume of water would put on our local streams and rivers. The practical benefits of stormwater best management practices include reduced flooding impacts and the opportunity to interact with a naturalized area in an otherwise urbanized environment. You might hear folks say, if it's on the ground, it's in your water. And I think that's a really true statement. It's a simplified way to say any type of pollutant that falls on the ground has the potential to get into our waterways. And so we do things like best management practices to protect water quality, to prevent contaminants from getting into our waterways.